let's get you up to speed. So this was a garage that is really well positioned in the house for not using it for cars. <laughs> it's right next to the kitchen and we have another garage where we can park our one car. Anyways, we let our sun moon paint the floors. One of my favorite creative weirdo moments in this whole house because we just spilled the paint everywhere. It's colorful. We sealed it with an epoxy so it's just super durable. Great for an art room which I plan to do a lot of art in this space. And then we pivoted, right? We realized that it was a mistake to leave it open. So we went and got some salvage windows from our own back house and also from Reuse Hawaii and made a floor to ceiling window wall with a salvaged sliding glass door also from the back house construction and it just looks so good now but of course it is the time to infuse the design the personality and the functionality into the space again so I'm really excited to get a big old work table in there which we're gonna DIY get a space where I can mood board get a space where I can store a bunch of supplies and stuff and then of course add all those finishing touches the jewelry of the room as I call it to bring in the personality I'm really excited to get DIYing and styling <laughs> Can't wait to renovate. There's no time to go on dates. How will it turn out? OMG, we, we bought, bought a house. On an island? Wait, what? It's our dream home. Hopefully. Mom, show me that door. Coming. We're going for a six foot table, right? Yeah, so six by four, really great work surface, but then also an area for storage, like wider shelves to just chuck like big pads of paper or wallpaper samples in. And then on the caster, so it moves. I need a work table. I don't have a desk in this space. Joey's got his man cave. Obviously I was working on an outdoor table, which just wasn't ideal. Anyways, I'm just so excited to DIY a work table with some storage for my wallpaper samples and all my art supplies and have it just be this big thing I can just create on. But of course, we are going to DIY it to the perfect size requirements for a small. I kind of want to be able to just sit at it at a normal chair because of my schmallness. So I think probably 33. Need this is four by six. Yeah, I think we need to be longer than six feet. I just want to have the flexibility to do like a sofa in here and stuff. It's just very petite looking work table to me. Whenever we do a creative project, it's always like Kate kind of just coming up with something in her head and then she just expects me to come up with a plan, so. Which is fine, because that's my strength. My strength is coming up with a plan, not coming up with the idea. Seven feet, though, because like. Yeah, that's fine. And then the shelves are like. So yeah, these are my biggest pads. Basically, we're making it a partner desk where we're making it so that we can both sit at the desk, sort of catty cornered, and then there'll be shorter shelving so that we can slide things in, like art pads, blueprints, wallpaper samples. Hold my hand. Okay. Okay, so if I'm sitting on my chair, <laughs> that's 24 inches. Okay, sit back for Wait, 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 wait. I'm, more, I'm two in my quads, hang on. <sighs> Gotta get into my glutes. <sighs> okay. Yeah, but you wouldn't ever have your feet. I might sit like this. You have plenty of space. Your butt's all the way back here, 24 inches is where I'm you're I'm feeling it in my quads. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <sighs> this is the thing, you gotta measure, measure, measure. Double check your measurements before you get started. Our total width is 84. So then we're gonna need a centerpiece. That's gonna be 84, four feet minus three inches is 48. So we need two 45s. And then, did we decide on the height? 30. 30 inches tall? Four. 34 inches tall? Shoot, minus wheel height. Oh my gosh, you've been factoring the wheel height? This is the reason I'm always running the numbers over and over again and just making sure the measurements are right because, you know, measure twice, cut once. If you willy-nilly the measurements, it's gonna come back to bite you. I 
I love to be able to get my hair done while simultaneously having business meetings with Joey or working on designs. I'll like sketch on my iPad or whatever. And thankfully we have a glorious, talented guy named Patrick who comes over and does my highlights, does the fun colors in my hair. He's also just like so much fun to have around. We have this beautiful open air lanai. I don't have to breathe in the fumes. I'm very scent sensitive because of my migraines. I'm a super smeller, they call it. Um, so basically I have a super heightened sense of smell. So being in a salon is really hard for me because it's like guaranteed migraine, even if I wear a mask. So being out in the open air, being able to do it at home and also be able to get some work done at the same time is like major bonus. I think it was just like really like serendipitous. I just like went from watching your videos and then you guys moved here and I'm like, hey, it'd be really I cool. I know. Yeah. No, you said that you manifested this and I was like, I believe in that stuff too. It turns out he's like a long time creative weirdo. Um, has been watching our channel since he was like a teenager and uh, has become a good friend. And he comes over like, I don't know, once a month and does Kate's hair. A big part of like moving away from what was my home for so long in LA, you know, yeah. all my friends, like all those people become, you know, part of your community and like you see and like check in with. And so coming here, like establishing that like family away from family kind of thing. For sure. Has been so important and you, you've been such an important part of it. Wow. And thank you for putting up with coming over to our <laughs> crazy house. Oh, it's always fun. Renovation goals. <laughs> we will have a proper sink. <laughs> sink and shampoo bowl. We've installed the most hilarious salon bowl you've ever seen. I got it really cheap online and we just hooked it up to this like old laundry sink. It doesn't even have the drain hooked up, so we drain it into a bucket and then put it down another drain. Anyways, it's super rustic, but thankfully, Patrick is on board. I love him for it. Thanks, Patrick. So Kate wanted to make like a workbench style desk, so we're just using two by fours for this entire thing. That happened. And now it won't turn on. Our freaking nice camera just broke. The lens and the camera body broke. Like the oh, you think the lens broke too? It definitely broke. Oh no, that's such an expensive. Misty. <laughs> Dude, oh, ooh. this is not good. This is a nice camera. This is our like daily shooting camera and it completely is broken. I don't know. It just 
fell from like seven feet off the tripod, land on the floor, and it's not turning on, so. <laughs> like we pride ourselves in like producing good content. Nice. A lot of that has to do with the fact that we have like a nice camera. That we, that we had a nice, a nice camera. camera. <laughs> Ooh, it's just a thing, it's just a thing. I think that'll look really nice. Yeah. Wait, how is this this tall? This is way taller than 34 inches. We went over the math together. get a higher chair, but then. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is about this room, but we keep making mistakes. 34 what? inches is what you told That's me. That's what I told you, but what shoes was I wearing that day? Platforms! So what, you didn't factor your shoe height into your measurement? No, those <laughs> shoes, Joey! This is a serious issue! Because I most of the time walk around barefoot here, like it's our house, like I'm not gonna be wearing platforms every day. I just had them on that day and those were a good three inches, probably. Oh my gosh, this is an annoying setback, but I really do need this to be the right height. <sighs> okay, don't cry over cut wood. No, that's not the same. Don't measure things in platforms. That's the same. So you're saying you want this table to be three inches shorter? Yep, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so after all of that, the measurements weren't right, you know? I guess, yeah, Kate was wearing her platform shoes, and so she wasn't factoring in the height of her platform shoes. So, Fortunately, we're making it smaller, not taller. Making wood taller, harder. Making wood smaller, easier. All right, here's the plan. We gotta pull these off. Yeah. We gotta cut these all down. <laughs> three and a half inches. Mm. And then, put these back on and sand the whole thing down. And then spin, Dada! <laughs> oh no, don't make him dizzy because then he'll make crooked cuts <laughs> on the wood. <laughs> Did you tell me how tall that desk was supposed to be? Yeah. Did we get it right? Yeah. We did? But mom's now saying the desk is too, too tall? No, the desk is just right. It's just right? Yeah. Okay, Moon's saying we don't have to cut the desk down. Thank you for chopping off the legs. <laughs> I love these chairs, super cool. They're so cool. I'm glad we went with the green. I think yeah. that's fun. It'll bring in like the plant. These office chairs are awesome. They're inexpensive. I like the green leathery kind of vintage vibes, sort of picking up the vintageness of the windows. And you know, they fit a small. So yeah, this is already like such a much easier height for me even standing cause like spreading stuff out. The table, yes, okay. Thank you for cutting it down, okay. It's the perfect height now. I can sit at it, I can stand at it comfortably. <sighs> so much better. And the shelves, oh my gosh, I have to see if my pads will fit. <gasps> my art pads. Drawing pad. Do you fit? Oh, 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 perfect fit. Room to spare. Yeah. Oh my God, how exciting. Okay, pads, drawing pads here. Wallpaper samples can go up here. Maybe I'll do like little labels. Worker chic. So you have stain? Yeah, so I think we should just give it like a little life to the wood. This one's golden pecan. So it's really gonna be still like a light wood. Wait, let me show you one thing. But then, wait, we have to talk about the top, okay? A lot of people were saying, why don't you put like plexiglass over the outdoor table and, you know, close up the gaps in it. And I said that that was in like a totally even top, plus we're gonna use that table outside with the thing. Plus I wanted the storage, plus I wanted the ability to move it with the casters. Anyways, 
This is a bigger, better table. This piece of plywood on top is really nice and smooth, but I think what would be really cool is maybe to paint this white and then really seal it. So leave the trim because, wood, but paint this white. Yeah, because then we can use this as like a big patch of white for like flat lays if we want to like take like you know, photography on it. This is obviously a very rustic work table. I don't mind the just factory look of the wood, but I think adding a little bit of warmth to it will just bring a slightly more designed feel to it, especially since we're gonna have other furniture pieces playing around like a sofa and some storage cabinets. So, stain it is, just like a golden stain. for me in a creative studio is to have somewhere I can mood board or just pin up images and just kind of map out ideas for our upcoming collections, for any projects we're working on. So a cork board, I've never had actually like a giant cork board. I've had little ones, but I think a big one would be really cool. And we found these rolls of cork and we're just gonna figure out how to attach them to the wall as securely as possible and then I can mood board away. I'm gonna put a mirror in this corner that's gonna be kind of like, you know, plants on the floor and stuff. So, so from this edge of the wall over will be like inspo board. Thank you, buddy. We let Moon just kind of flit in and out of our projects. If he wants to help, great. If not, no pressure. He's almost four years old. What's really funny is that he's now started calling us mom and dad. Dad! What? What, what are you doing for that? I'm putting the glue on to hold the cork. I don't know what happened to mama and dada, but somehow I'm now dad. I'll always be his dada, I hope. <laughs> These utilitarian closets, I'm not trying to call too much attention to them, but just adding a nice little brass knob makes it easier to open and just makes them look a little nicer. These Luna cabinets, I am so loving. These are new to our furniture collection. They come in a variety of sizes and some other color options too. We've got a black, we've got a beautiful blue. What? Did you see my aesthetic broom and dustpan? Look at this. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Joey, they hug each other. It's been a concern of a lot of you guys on the climate control in that room. We said it gets warm in there and then we added a wall of windows, but we're adding some curtains, floor to ceiling. And then we have a wall unit AC that's gonna be going in too. I still have to decide if I wanna do like a, like a, like a gather. Cause the only thing is, I want, to, I want to still be able to really soak up the framing of all the windows. <gasps> <laughs> Just a nice simple rug under the table. I wanted something easy to roll the table around on, but give us a little bit of sound absorption because this is a big echoey room. So if we're gonna be recording the podcast, it'll be nice to just have a little bit of some softness on the ground. Okay, let's wheel the, the desk in. Oh no, let's build our couch. New couch. Lots of rectangles going on in the space between the windows and our DIY table. So bringing in a little bit of softness is gonna be amazing for a seating option. But this is our test sofa, which is one of our best selling sofas. We have the green ones in velvet in our living room. And this is the white linen. It's kind of like an ivory white. It's so pretty. And I'm just really excited to have this styled in the space. Just bring in some softness. It's gonna look super cute. And maybe I'll grab a nap. I think it's so, fun that we're gonna kick off our island makeovers, like going into people's places local here mm -hmm. by also doing a local giveaway. Two viewers will get a test over each. So if you live in Hawaii, go check out my Instagram for the details on how to enter. So now this 
is a new microphone. The podcast. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got our mics. Joey's got a black mic. I've got a white mic. You know, a little black and white contrast. And I don't know. I'm glad that Joey went to music school and he knows all about setting up <laughs> microphones. He can do that. I'll just make it look cute. to be a pretty neutral space because I'm going to be putting up pictures of our future collection. So I didn't want any strong statements of color in the space to conflict with those since I'm just gonna be brainstorming so many different color palettes within the space. So yes, it is a more quiet moment in there, which I appreciate, but I've got some little pops of color and pillows and styling stuff too. opportunities are also great in here for some soft goods. I really like styling with functional items as well as decorative items. It just kind of gives it a beautiful layered look. I mean, this is a space where I have to come up with like a bunch of designs, so it has to look good, okay? It has to inspire me in turn. I love it too. Wee! Our mics aren't plugged in yet. Oh. Coming up on OMG, we bought a house. Wait, rub it off. Do you have a rag? Run and get a rag. Give me your shirt. Take off your panties. What? Joey, panties. <laughs> and we are about to get the rough plumbing and the rough electrical done just in time for the inspector. Just. The inspector is here. He did not look psyched. <laughs> 